Thank you. Firstly, I'd like to recognize, unfortunately, the fact that our colleague and my colleagues side by side made for many, many years in this committee. Sheila Jackson Lee is no longer with us. She was a great member and a force for America, and uh, her loss is felt and great. Secondly, I'd like to say to the FBI director that there were some remarks made when you were introduced, preemptory remarks, saying that people don't have great faith in the FBI, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I have great faith in the FBI, and I think most of us on this side of the aisle do. And we appreciate your work, and you appreciate your being here. Some on the other side of the aisle have cast dispersions upon the FBI and upon law enforcement. And if they don't want to support law enforcement, that's their business. But I support law enforcement, and the FBI is the top rank of law enforcement in our country. So I thank you and, and all of your people that work with you. Secondly, there's been some questions about the FBI may be being weaponized. Did President Biden ever ask you to get involved in the case in Orlando, Florida, where Kevin McCarthy says that Mr. Gates is investigated for some sexual involvement with a 17-year-old girl? Did, did, the, did the president or anybody in the Democratic Party, as Mr. McCarthy has suggested, weaponized you and tried to get you involved in that case? No, sir. Good. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure of that. Um, Butler, Pennsylvania, I read something about a ladder. He used a ladder to get up, up on, on that roof and that the ladder was found somewhere a distance away. Is that true? Uh, so we do know that he purchased a ladder. Um, uh, I think it, if I recall correctly, it was about a five foot uh, tall type of ladder. Uh, but importantly, we did not find the ladder at the scene. Uh, so it's not clear that he used the ladder uh, to get on top of the roof. So you don't think uh, we're the ladder... still digging into all that uh, things related to the ladder and his access to the roof? But he did buy a ladder, but the ladder was not found at the the scene. Ladder didn't have any feet on it. It didn't walk feet? off. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. There have been a lot of threats against public officials. We've seen Mr. Scalise terribly shot, and we saw Gabby Gifford shot, and other Congress people, and many of us have had death threats and. Uh, the FBI has been made aware of those to help protect us, and I appreciate that greatly. But we've also had election officials and poll workers threatened. What is the FBI doing in consultation with other law enforcement to ensure every eligible voter can safely and confident, confidently cast a ballot this year? So when it comes to threats to election workers in particular, uh, you know, we participate in the election threats task force that DOJ set up. Uh, we also, uh, and there have been a number, quite a number already of arrests and convictions uh, under that task force. Uh, we have got a number of investigations underway that involve all kinds of threats to election workers, ranging from online threats to, uh, there was even some mailings that included fentanyl. Uh, so there's been a number of types of threats to election workers. And these are, after all, people who are putting in their own time for the good of the country to try to help us have a functioning democracy. And so the idea that they would be targeted with violence uh, is just outrageous. Uh, we are sharing information with uh, election officials uh, about things to be on the lookout for. We have election crime coordinators in all 50 and You'll be prepared for election day with additional, the FBI will be looking out for. Yes. Election. Thank you, thank you. Um, Jeffrey Epstein. Um, been in the news a lot lately about his involvement with certain people high in politics involved. Did the FBI conduct the raid on his uh, townhouse in New York when he was uh, incarcerated in, uh, in New York? There was a raid on his east side townhouse. Well, I don't know about a raid. I, I, I know we executed a search number warrant. of searches in the course of our fairly extensive investigation related to Can you tell me if, during that search if you came across and have within your, the possession of the FBI tapes of him with other individuals that he might have taken in of people in, in, in compromising positions. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that there's anything I can share related to that. Uh, I can see if there's information we could provide and maybe get back to you on it. Um, if there were tapes of people in prominent positions, friends of his he posed for pictures with, possibly in compromising positions, it would be the public, I think, has a right to see those. Well, I mean, how we handle evidence recovered in a criminal investigation uh, has all kinds of rules that apply to it. Uh, I recognize the intense public interest in the subject, but we'd have to follow our rules. But I'm happy, like I said, I'm happy to follow up with my team on it. Thank you, sir. And I appreciate your service and, uh, and uh, uh, thank you for being here today. Gentlemen, yield the last five. 